Maria Kalinina. I train yoga in Moscow. Yoga helps us gain balance, elevate our energy and use it for our development. But in my opinion, the most important thing in yoga is to overcome your ego. My practice is uh, focus on um, liberating the joint and developing flexibility. It's great even for beginners. And now let's do some yoga. Please sit down in Padmasana or Ardha Padmasana, depending on your ability. Join hands in Namaste before your chest. Deep breath through your nose and start singing mantra OM. Repeat it three times and then stretch forward. Then breathe full yoga breath by uplifting air and prana from your stomach and lower chakras to your chest and top of your head. Visualize air, track how it passed through your vertebra. Breathe as a child through stomach and the knuts inhale and exhale like this a few times until you feel ready for the yoga practice. During the inhale, let the air flow into your body through the top of your head. Breathe in slowly and with gratitude. Track the rate of the air inside your body. Stand up and stretch your feet. Stand with your feet at your shoulders width. Put your head down to your chest and start slowly rolling it around the right, right shoulder, back, left shoulder. Imagine that your head is a heavy ball and this ball is slowly rolling on your shoulders, back and chest. During this exercise relax your face and, most importantly, your eyes. Yoga gurus usually say that relaxing the eyes is the most important and the most difficult thing at the same time. Put your hands on the back of your head and stretch it to the chest. Massage it with your fingers, forehead, temples, neck and the entire head. Massage the cervical spine and forearms. Rub the ears so that they start to burn. Pull them down and different direction by the lobes. Tap your head with your fists. Make a circle with your shoulders back and further. Make a wave with your wild body to prepare your spine for the asans. Stand on your left foot, put the right foot to the side on your toe. Lift your left arm and with your right hand pull yourself out the spine by the left hand. Now bend to the side to the non-supporting right leg. Look up at the sailing over your shoulder and try to turn a little more in this direction as through you are opening. Easy breathe. Concentrate on the air circulating inside you. Inhale is equal to exhale.
como el gavilán encuentra la gota de lluvia y prospera. Tap your body, starting from the toes, rising higher to the hips, rising energy. It's important to move upwards. Stand with your feet at your shoulders with hands behind you in a lock. Bend forward, start swaying with every move, try to pull your hands closer to the floor. Put your left hand on the floor between the feet, lift the right arm up through the side, sway some more, do the same thing with the other arm. Go to the starting position, feet together, put your hands in Namaste through the top, join hands in a lock, keeping right elbow up and the left elbow at the hip level. Put your feet at your shoulders with again. Start making circular movements with your body in one direction and the other. Breathe through your nose. Inhale is equal to exhale. If you feel pain under the shoulder blade, when exhaling start passing air through the hurting area. Saint, massage the shoulder and the arm after exciting the position. Then make a wave with the wild body. Go asana. The angel between the things and the floor is 19 degrees. Between the arms and the floor also 19 degrees. Make circular moments with your feet. A side wave. When the body is near the floor, exhale and throw your head back. Bend your back, breathe in through the jugular node. On the exhale, try to let out all the air from the lungs through the pressed lips. Inhale like blowing out a candle. Palms are placed with your fingers looking forward. Heels are pulled back, legs are straight and tense, stomach is tucked up. The ribcage is open and parallel to the floor and the level of shoulder bones. The angle between the shoulder and forearms bones is 19 degrees. Breathe through your nose. Try to focus on the air, flow to direct attention from the tension. Lie on your stomach, capture your feet. Padangushta Tanurasana. The asana fills the solar plexus with energy, improves the activity of the liver. Change the position of your hands. Grab the legs from outside by the ankles. Pull the feet your way. Body weight is on the abdomen. The thorax is opened. The spine is stretched. Put your fists under your stomach. Start swaying a little from the side to side, raising your fists under the ribs and putting them back down. This way we massage the internal organs. The head is lying on the left cheek, then on the right one. There is a passive stretching of the cervical spine. 
Put your hands at the shoulder level. Fingers are spread wide. Hands are put tightly to the floor. We reach forward with the top of the head and then up Pujangasana. In this asana is important to relax the anus. Add Kapalabhati breeze. Active exhale, passive inhale. Hold the body and shoulders still when breathing. Lie on stomach, bend your knees and pull the feet to the floor, Vikasana. The asana helps sprained ankles and strange them. Remove the pain in the knee, joints and stretching the knees. Again, grab the foot with the inside and do Padangusta Tanurasana. We start to sway back and forth. At the same time, reach up with the top of your head. Then put your head back and lift it again. Do this moment slowly, each time reaching up with the top of your head. Compensation, Balasana. Stretch the fingers of your right hand forward, then the same with the left one. Deep inhale and exhale. Put your arms down, lift the pelvis, leaving support on the head. Shashankasana. Sit down and raise your pelvis again a few times. Next, we lean with our arms and make circular movements with your head on the floor in one and the other direction. Again, we go into Shashankasana. Now that we've warmed up the neck, we will be able to make a deeper lunge forward. Shashankasana variation. Join hands in a lock behind your back and pull them to the floor. The chin rests on the chest. Be careful, there's a big load on the neck. Go asana. Make a wave forward. Add the breeze. When we pull to the floor, exhale with your mouth. Lips burst into a tube. When the bending your back up, breathing through the nose. Repeat 10, 15 times. Martyriasana, arch down at the inhale, arch up at the exhale. We are massaging the abdominal and pelvic area. Repeat the moment several times. Stretch your waist, placing your palms with your wrist, facing your way. Sit on the back legs. Raise your arms in front of you. Start opening and closing fists. Do it actively. Continue the exercise for several minutes. Keep the elbows straight.
make circular wrist movements. Lie down on your stomach on the left side of the mat. The right hand is sit the side to the side. The palm is facing your way. Put your weight on this arm. Bend your legs so that you can put the feet on the floor. Ekabhujusvastikasana. It releases the shoulder, joints and opens the thorax. Concentrate on your breathing. Inhale is equal to exhale. Soon the fascias will relax and the pain will go away. But in any case, in any asana, do not hurt your ligaments. Always take your time. Do a compensation. Lying on your stomach, put your right hand to the left side under the chest and the left hand to the right side. Put the weight on your shoulders so that your forehead is on the floor. Help with your feet and then put them on their outer surface. And now make some compensation. Puchangasana. And now change your hands and repeat the same in the other side. Again, make some compensation, for example, Pujangasana.
Goasana, circular movements with your body on one and the other direction. Make a wave forward with your wild body. Sit with your legs crossed in Adha Padmasana or Padmasana. Do a few full yoga sprees. Take your leg like you're holding a child in your arms and start rocking it from side to side. Massage the entire foot, paying particular attention to the hurt of the foot. The area located below the big toe. Pull the foot to your forehead, then away to the side. Take it with the same side arm. Then the other hand. Do a compensation, Agni Stamphasana. It opens the hips, stretches the legs and calves. Repeat the same on the other side. Sit with your legs crossed, hands behind your head, put your hand on the elbow. Open up so that your chin looks directly at the ceiling. Repeat the same in the other direction. Massage another foot, paying particular attention to the head of the foot. Pull the foot to your forehead, then away to the side. Take it with the same side arm, then the other hand.
Then to a compensation, Agni Stamhasana. Take the starting position. Make a few circular movements with your body, one and the other direction. When your shoulders and chest are near the floor, lift your head up and breathe out through your mouth. Lips burst into a tube. When arching your back up, hide your chin in the tubular node and breathe in through the nose. Each time, try to lengthen the exhale. Then make it in another direction. Again, get back into the starting position with your back stretched. Now begin to sway back and forth. Bending your arms, arch your back and throw your head back. When your back is bent, hide your chin into the jugular nose and make a powerful exhale through your mouth. Repeat this moment several times. Declaration. You can extend this breath for several minutes, then you feel the powerful rise of Kundalini energy. Rub your feet while sitting on the hips. Then hug your knees and roll on the cocks. Okay, go out from the Padmasana. Massage your legs. Put your head on your knees and hold this position for a minute. Close your eyes, relax your neck and face. Take your big toes with your index and middle fingers, pull them to the sides, leave the knees bent, back is straight, shoulders are lowered down, the top of the head reaches up. Straighten your legs, then put them together. Close and open your legs.
then make Navasana. Free your fingers and take your foot in the same position. Again, bend your knees and put your head off them. Sit between the feet on the bent legs and lie down. First on the forearms and then on the back. Supta Virasana. It relieves pain and has a general stimulating and regeneration effect. We get one leg from under you and first pull the knee to your chest, then the leg up and to the head, if possible, if it does towards you. Repeat on the other leg. Compensation. Bend both knees, push them to the chest and start rotating. The toes are pulled towards you. Visualize that you are lying on a circle of fire that you wasted rotating in. Make a few rolls onto the back, each time go back on the feet. Sit in the same split. Turn your shoulders a few times in different directions. Put your hands at shoulder level and start slowly doing push-ups.
breathe out through your mouth, lips as a tube. On your way up, breathe through your nose, on your way down. Bend your back knee and pull it to the side. Now stretch your leg. Then bend back to Eka Pada Rajakapatasana. Exit the position and make a few bends forward and back. Please make the compensation for spine, the wave. Then turn your shoulders in different directions. Compensation, Goasana, wave forward. Repeat the entire complex to the other side. Make Balasana and then a few wave. Sit in a semi split. Turn your shoulders a few times in different directions. Repeat the wave. Now strange your legs.
Take your leg by the hand and go to Ekapada Rajakapatasana. Adha Mukha Svanasana. We face each other and are fully pressed to the floor. Neck is relaxed, cocus is pulled up, the breast is pulled down to the floor. Lift your left foot up, upside hand reach to the right leg. Compensation, Balasana. Repeat the same on the other leg. And then again Balasana. Sit on the hips, push your legs apart. Lying on your right leg, put your left arm on top and dive out from under it. In a more complex version, we lie down on the floor with the side part of the ribs in front of the leg. The toes are pulled towards you. Go to Upavishta Kanasana. The asana has a calming and refreshing effects, promotes blood circulation in the pelvic area. It improves the elasticity of these muscles. Please repeat the exercise on the other side.
compensation Agnes Damphasana. Take your hand in Namaste and make full yoga breeze. Get up to the top of the mat. Feet are slightly facing each other. Take your hands in Namaste. Surya Namaskar complex. Lift your arms up. Bend forward with a stride back. Put your hands on the floor at the feet. Take a wide step back. Virabhadrasana. Reach forward with the top of your head. Ardha Mukhvashvanasana. Then make Goasana and Bhujangasana. Reach up with the top of your head, then go back to the downward dog. Take a step forward with the other foot to the hero asana. Pull the foot to the other foot. Stay in Uttanasana. Climb up following the arms and arch your back. Hasta Uttanasana. Bring hands in Namaste through the sides. Smoothing the aura. Lift your arms up, bend forward with a stride back. Put your hands on the floor at the feet. Take a wide step back. Virabhadrasana. Reach forward with the top of your head. Ardha Mukhvashvanasana. Then make Goasana and Bhujangasana. Reach up with the top of your head, then go back to the downward dog. Take a step forward with the other foot to the hero asana. Pull the foot to the other foot. Stay in Uttanasana. Climb up following the arms and arch your back. Hasta Uttanasana. Bring hands in Namaste through the sides. Smoothing the aura. Balasana. Then get up on your knees and bend back following the stretch arm. Ustrasana. Return to the starting position. Compensation. Balasana. Return to the starting position, compensation, balasana. Mm -hmm. 
then go back to the bend, get down on your forearms. This again make compensation and then make kapatasana. It stimulates the abdominal cavity, improves posture. Exit the position, lie down in Balasana or Bhyakasana. Then sit in Mandukasana and lie forward. If possible, make a lock with your hands behind your back and stretch them back. Roll over to your back. Roll over to your back, bend to the legs in Paschimottanasana. Lie on your back, take your ankles with your hands and lift the hips up. Lower the hips to the floor. the big toes with your middle and index fingers and spread your knees apart. Change your legs. And then spread both legs to the side in a split.
compensation, press the knees to your chest and make circular movements with them. Again, lying on your back, get into Utho Tanurasana. Stand on the forearms and stretch your legs. Controls a lot. There is powerful rush of blood to the head. If it possible, stand on your elbows and rise your legs. Do a compensation, press the knees to the chest, roll on your back. Make a few rolls, exhaling all the air out of the lungs. Lie in Halasana. If it is difficult for you to keep the legs together, spread them wider. Hands support the, Hands support the thighs. You can also pull them in a log behind you. Or pull them in the direction of the head. Find your comfortable position. Control the load of the neck, not push it too much. Exit the asana slowly, holding hands on the feet, as if you step on the palm with your foot. Work through every spine. Do a compensation, matsyasana, hands over your head or along the legs. Then lie again on your back and again rotate the legs bent at the knees. Exit into Salamba Sarvangasana. You can go further. Put your legs in Padmasana. and pull the hands up. Then put down your knees on the mat in front of you leaving them at the same time in Padmasana. Stay a while 
in this position and try to relax your entire body, paying more attention to cervical spine. Try to relax your face. And after, exit to Halasana. Gently excite from this position and go back into Matsyasana. Then lie down in the twist, bend the right leg at the knee and put the knee to the left. Place the left hand on top of this knee, put the right on the side and upward at an angle of 45 degrees. Palms facing the ceiling, the head faces exactly to the right. Several times lift your head from the floor and place it back on the right cheek. Exit from this position and do it on the other side. Relax the wild body and wait until it takes this position. Breathe through your nose, letting air through the top of your head at the inhale and at the exhale track as it passes through each of your vertebra and goes out through the feet. Then lie to Shavasana, relax the toes of the left foot, now the wild foot. Track the relaxation going up to your knee, joint and hip. Now relax the left side of the stomach and the left lung. Relax the fingers of the left hand and the entire palm. Imagine that there is a warm, heavy ball in it. Feel your wild left arm becoming warm and heavy. The whole left side of your body is relaxed. Relax the fingers of the right foot. Now the wild foot. Track the relaxation going up to your knee, join and hip. Relax the wild leg until you cannot relax it any further. 
now relax the entire stomach and the wild thorax. Feel your stomach lifting up and the chest opening at the inhale. With the exhale, your stomach is almost glued to your spine and the rib cage relaxes. Relax the fingers of the right hand and the entire palm. Feel your wild left hand becoming warm and heavy. Your wild body is relaxed. Relax the face, forehead, elbows, cheeks, nose and lips. Relax the entire back, surface of the head and neck. Relax your ears. Feel how they are drawn to the floor. Now fall through the floor. Then mentally go back to the mat and fall through again. Do chai breeze. Visualize the air entering the top of your head. Paint it blue. At the exhale, let this blue flow through each vertebra and let it through the feet. Make 10 of this meditative breeze. Imagine that there is a ping pong ball in the middle of your head. One side of this is painted black, the other is white. Start spanning it, following the transition line from black to white. Spin the ball with equal speed, help it with your eyes, pushing it. Mentally get back to the mat, move your fingers, move your toes, lie on your side and get up through your side. Sit with your legs crossed, sing the OM mantra three times and make a short stretch. Namaste. Thank you for the practice.